tagging out Aki. And uh, joining me in the Open Tech Studio is Gunter Smith from Pick and Pay. He joins us today in Joburg, uh, having traveled out from the City Bowl. So thank you, Gunter. I really do appreciate you taking the time to join us. Yeah, thanks for the invitation. Great Happy to be here. So I mentioned you are with Pick and Pay, but perhaps you can just give a bit of background about what your role is there. Yes, sure. Uh, I work for Pick and Pay as a test infrastructure manager. Mm -hmm. So uh, providing the whole replication of the estate, basically from a production side into the testing infrastructure and supporting our automation engineers, as well as our manual testers, as well as new hardware, anything else that might come into play. Great stuff. So I'm assuming I've seen Pick and Pay has been on a real push as far as crypto is, is concerned and accepting that at, at, at its uh, various locations. Is that something that you were perhaps Playing a part in? Uh, we've been part of the testing process mm -hmm. with it as well as integration with some of our switching partners. Um, I must admit the, the whole planning of it and putting the whole thing together, that lies more with our business analysts and project managers. Sure, no, fair enough. So uh, now that we've gotten the pleasantries out of the way, yes. uh, Pick and Pay isn't our sole focus for our discussion today. We're talking mm -hmm. about VicIT Consulting, um, who is, a, I guess, a partner, for lack of a better term, with Pick and Pay. How did that relationship kind of begin and how have things been going so far? Well, that's quite interesting that you asked that. Um, about four years ago at the very same summit, but mm -hmm. then uh, I believe Microfocus was still the, the yeah. summit name. Uh, we you met in still Johannesburg. Still allowed to say Microfocus. Microfocus, still allowed, perfect. <laughs> so we met in Johannesburg. We actually came to interview Vic IT because we were looking at a potential partner for licensing some of the tool sets mm -hmm. and also seeing what other solutions could come out of it. Uh, and now, four years later, we're still walking the road. Very happy with it. Uh, great support, and they've, they've been aiding us, not just in tool sets, but we've been able to really build a relationship beyond, beyond a vendor and a customer point of view, but really a relationship, human-to-human <laughs> -human interaction, where if we need something, they're just a phone call away. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that human element is something that's really important. Um, it is, uh, it is. Events like this, they haven't been the norm for the past three years. They're kind of back and uh, I guess people are engaging more, networking more, and I'm assuming that's what uh, Pick and Pay has also been doing here at this event. Yeah, 100%. Uh, we're here to, to see what's out there, to just get a feel again for what's on the market, also support open techs and see where the whole platform is going with the new you know, AI generation and all the cloud, uh, cloud features that they're putting out there. It's important, I think, that you need to engage and understand what's happening out there, not just from a new market perspective, but also from an existing partner to see where you can take you know, solutions in business. Speaking of existing partners then, uh, VicIT, what has that relationship yielded so far? I'm sure there are instances where there have been challenges along the way. How have they been able to help you guys tackle those? Yeah, no, look, we've had a couple of challenges. One of the first things that I think solidified our relationship was uh, specifically a point where we wanted to get ISO messaging on EFT platforms mm -hmm. with one of the, the microfocus tool sets, service virtualization, to try and intercept it and basically turn those messages around, take away the, the endpoints and bring it a bit more in-house, you know, that fastens up the repetitive cycle mm -hmm. of the testing and just keeps everything flowing. So VicIT was amazing. They tried to really go beyond the means and get that information, see what's feasible, what's not. And uh, there's a lot of back and forth that went on over multiple periods of time. But eventually, for example, and, and this is one of those things, Vic IT came back and advised, we can create a solution, but it's not necessarily uh, feasible financially mm -hmm. against what's out there and what our goals was. And as tough as it was to understand and get that feedback, it allowed us as a testing organism in Pick and Pay to really define what our scope is, go back to the business and to the stakeholders involved in the request and understand this path is not the one for us. Now, even though that was a, a, a letdown or a negative response we got back, the, the positive power in that, in not wasting more time, sure. opened up a whole new roadmap for us to follow. Yeah, I'm assuming that a collaborative effort with someone like VicIT is really important for Pick and Pay. It is, it is. Uh, I think uh, it's very important for VicIT and all of our partners, you have to have that relationship. It's, it's far beyond just a, a putting a price down and getting a payment. With VicIT, really, they've been supporting us. And, That's and great it's, to hear. it's a human aspect that you need. Great stuff. Um, I guess looking that. forward now, uh, perhaps if we do chat, get a chance to chat again in the next Open Tech Summit, uh, what are yourselves in VicIT kind of working on, perhaps, that you guys can mention? <laughs> we can't mention a lot at the moment, but uh, 
we are looking, we've, uh, VKIT has helped us implement uh, ALM Octane and start putting more into the cloud. Mm -hmm. Currently, we're trying to focus more onto a, I um, hope I don't get into trouble for saying this, but into the shift lift phase of testing, mm -hmm. where we're trying to really push that agile development of automation packs and everything as it comes out, as the developers are creating it and as it's being introduced into our dev space and VKIT has really been helping us to, to work through that process and look forward uh, towards what potential tools we might need, licensing and savings of costs. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Um, I guess that kind of brings us to the conclusion of what we wanted to chat to you about. Uh, I think perhaps moving forward as far as pick and pay is concerned, uh, the last thing I wanted to find out from you is just the cloud environment. Uh, I'm not too sure what uh, Pick and Pay is utilizing at the moment. Is it still an AWS uh, system or? Okay, so from a cloud aspect, a majority of our systems run in the AWS, mm -hmm. uh, AWS domain. Uh, we do have some micro-focus tool sets that is isolated to their own cloud hosting, but I'd say probably guess 90, 95% is AWS hosted. Oh, great stuff. And what would, I guess, I'm not sure if you're able to talk to this, but what would, for example, uh, OpenTech's recent relationship with Google Cloud mean for uh, pick and pay potentially? Well, potentially we haven't really looked into that option as yet. Enough, yeah. uh, it's been placed on the table and some mentions have been dropped around it, you know, conversations. But I don't think we had a point from a testing division at least where we already focused on what the forward goal is. But pretty sure with Vic IT, we'll be knowing very soon where we're going to go with that if we're going to utilize it. Great stuff. Gunter, uh, I do appreciate uh, your time as always. And uh, I think, yeah, it's from the sounds of it, your, yourselves, Pick and Pay uh, and VicIT are really building a strong relationship. So we're oh, interested yeah. to see what happens in the future. hundred um, percent. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to wait and see where this runs. I'm pretty sure it's going to be something.